Today household LED lamps are gaining popularity as they are an excellent alternative for conventional filament bulbs. You can easily assemble such a lamp on your own. For this purpose you will need a filament bulb base. LEDs with a mounted pad and the power supply circuit. Let me describe this power supply circuit in more detail. The circuit uses a bridge rectifier with a capacitive ballast that restricts the output current. This power supply is resistant to short circuits as the output current is restricted by capacitive impedance of a capacitor. That's why such a power supply is often called a current regulator. Capacitor C1 serves as a capacitance ballast. Its capacitance is rated in such a way that the current of 20 mA flows through LEDs. C2 filter smooths ripple and resistor R1 is used to restrict current. Resistors R2 R3 are designed to discharge capacitors C1, C2 after the power supply is off. C2 capacitor is shunted with Senna diodes BD2, BD3 to ensure short circuit protection. Senna diodes are selected in such a way that the total stabilized voltage is a bit higher than the voltage drop across the LEDs. Since the circuit includes 20 LEDs, the voltage drop across them is 65-75 volts and voltage applied to the capacitor C2 will be restricted at the same level. Two Zeno diodes, model 1 and 475-4A, have a stabilized voltage of 78 volts. In the event of fault involving any LED, these Zeno diodes will open and the voltage across the capacitor will be stabilized to 78 volts. This is lower than the capacitor's power supply voltage. That's why no power supply fault will occur.